Place the metal frame base on the scratched wooden table. Press down to check steadiness. Mount the DC motor to one side using two screws. Tighten with the rusty screwdriver until the shaft faces the center. Fix the ball bearing housing in the middle of the frame. Hammer lightly to seat it flush. Insert the steel rotor disc into the bearing. Check the spin by hand. It should rotate freely. Mark six spots evenly along the disc's rim. Attach the neodymium magnets using glue and tape, alternating north and south poles. Wind the first thick copper coil neatly and secure with tape. Slide it off the form and mount it to the left side of the rotor gap. Repeat with the second copper coil, mounting it opposite the first. Maintain a 3 mm air gap from the magnets. Strip the coil ends with pliers. Twist pairs neatly and tape the edges to prevent shorts. Connect both coil outputs into the input of the bridge rectifier module using taped copper leads. Mount the bridge rectifier to the side of the frame using tape. From its DC output, run wires to the voltage regulator board. Fix the mini control switch and LED test board next to the regulator. Tighten each terminal with the screwdriver. Route all loose wires neatly along the base. Tape corners and label input slash output ends. Attach the motor coupling to the rotor's edge, allowing the motor to drive the rotor when powered. The LEDs glow steadily as current stabilizes. The camera zooms close to the spinning magnets 